Hi team, this is Ravi Kumar Guduru. Today we are going to be discuss about setting forked execution properties for a molecule or atom cloud. So before setting up these properties value, first we'll discuss about you know what is forked execution first. Okay. Forked executions is enabled in atom cloud by default which means that each process executes in a separate JVM. You can optionally enable fork executions in a molecule level, okay? By default, a molecule node execute integration process within the same JVM as the node itself. However, you can enable an option, optional mode called fork execution that causes a node to execute each process in a separate JVM. Fork each time that another process executes. Okay, so important point we should make sure is fork executions can not be enabled if multiple atoms are running on the same machine. And Java 8 JDK is required for molecules to use for executions. okay so this if you are account wants a local molecule or private atom cloud you can set properties on the fork execution properties panel that affects how fork executions run okay before you law begin you must have atom management privileges to set properties okay if you have the atom management read access privileges, you cannot view existing set settings, but you can, but you cannot change them. Okay. So we'll discuss more about you know this task. Fork execution properties are stored in mainly uh, installation directory level under bin folder. In one or more of the following uh, files, like you know proc runner dot vm options another one is proc worker dot vm options and the third one is proc browser dot vm options okay so how to set up this uh fork execution properties will i'll share my screen and uh, show you in the account level let me share my screen Hope you are able to see my screen, right? Now I just logged into my account. In that account level, you can see that, you know, settings and configurations under atom management folder. You see this, right? I have selected a particular environment. In that particular environment level, under setting and configuration level, you could find fork execution properties. So click on that fork execution properties first. There you will see that the options, you know, basic advanced and custom level so if you want to update uh, uh for execution properties you should be add these two running heap size worker heap size browser heap size as we just uh, informed that right this individual property value store in three different files those are you know mainly uh proc runner proc worker proc browser level okay fine so this is the one you need to be configured with the properties if you go advanced level we should be add uh you know um required properties uh that are related client default connection timeout values for this executions and client default read timeout values and preferred uh, IPv4 stack is enabled, okay? And when it comes to the custom level, custom options, you can see this, right? Custom options. So here, 
the custom of tab under custom tab level you can add a property and you must enter the complete property value including the required info values we need to be pass as the true or false enable or disable thing okay any custom property that you set or store in all vm options pro core pro worker and uh, pro browser okay this will be update are stored in all these pro files level whenever you update this property it will be stored in all these vm i mean uh, for execution properties level okay once you updated all these things just save the file and close so hope i have given an, enough information on this uh, for execution properties setup okay thank you